Greetings, YouTube. I was born in Pennsylvania, though I admittedly didn't live there long. My parents were born in Pennsylvania. My grandparents were pe born in Pennsylvania. I even believe that some of my great-grandparents were born in Pennsylvania, though I don't have anyone alive to ask to confirm that. And though I grew up in New England, I did spend a lot of time in Pennsylvania, and I came to have a very good understanding of what life was like in rural Pennsylvania and in the coal towns, which is where my parents were from. Um, and to say that rural Pennsylvania and the coal towns of Pennsylvania are conservative is a bit of an understatement. They are not what you call cosmopolitan. Well, some filmmakers have decided that they really needed to make a film dealing with what it is like to be born and raised in Pennsylvania and be gay. So they made a documentary. Recently, a library decided they wanted to show this documentary. They received quite a bit of protests when they announced they were going to show this documentary. And some of them got very vocal, um, people literally getting in the face of librarians and yelling and screaming at them until I, at, one, at least one librarian broke down in tears. Um, so, to be perfectly clear, a documentary that dealt with um, intolerance, bigotry, and hatred in Pennsylvania was met with intolerance, bigotry, and hatred in Pennsylvania. I would say that the irony was delicious, except it's just monumentally depressing. Now, one of the protest groups involved in this debacle was the Tea Party. Now, it was my understanding that the Tea Party was about government spending and taxation, though why they never spoke up during the last administration is still a mystery to me. But which kind of films are shown at a library doesn't really fall into the category of public funding or taxation. Yes, the library is publicly funded, but the individual programs at the library aren't. It's kind of a blanket thing. You fund the library, the library handles the money themselves, and decides which kind of uh, programs to support. But I fail to see how the Tea Party can say that they're going to get all upset about a social issue such as this when they're not supposed to be about social issues. They're supposed to be about funding and taxation. But there's also the bigger issue in the fact that the community seems to have decided that they would rather keep this entire topic, and the pun is intended, in the closet, rather than just come out and deal with it. Now, one of the reasons that this, the library wanted to show this documentary was to help the people in the community to understand what it's like to be closeted and a gay person in uh, rural Pennsylvania and to reach out to gay teens in the community in the hopes that if they saw this, they would realize they're not alone, that there are people out in the world that they can connect with, and you know that the the people in the documentary survived this process, that they themselves could survive this process of being in this small town America and, you know, not having a community of your own. So, in that regard, I think protesting this film is really a disservice, not just to the community at large, but specifically to the teens in that community, because they are their folks. Um, I recently saw a t-shirt that I think sums it up beautifully, and it said, some people are gay, get over it. And that is the reality. Some people are gay. If you believe it's genetic, fine. If you don't, fine. It doesn't really matter. The point is that they're there. They exist. They've always existed. They're always going to exist. Denying the fact that they exist is kind of absurd. And expecting people to, to modify their lives to make you comfortable is also rather absurd. If you're not comfortable with gay sex, then don't engage in it. But don't get in the way of someone else who wants to express themselves in a manner that you don't agree with. And as I should point out that on a much bigger issue, it isn't about who you want to sleep with. It's about who you want to spend time with. It's about who you love. And that really doesn't have anything to do with your business. That's someone else's job. That's the person who's in love decide who they love. And it shouldn't be about communities deciding whether they should or shouldn't be able to express themselves. 
whether they should or shouldn't be able to see a film that is directly and specifically about the lives that they want to lead. So, if someone from the Tea Party can explain to me why um, this social issue is something that they got involved with in Pennsylvania, I would love to hear it. Um, but I would just really appreciate that anyone who doesn't agree with the quote-unquote quote, gay lifestyle, if it isn't your lifestyle, if it isn't something that you want to get involved with, why are you caring?